What's up, guys? This is a Twin Flame reading for September 23rd. Um, I'm reading the energy on September 22nd. So, um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Again, the date is may or may not be the day that you resonate with the reading. If you're watching this a month from now, maybe you resonate with it then. A week from now, maybe then. But take it as it resonates, as it pertains to content and as it pertains to date. Tarot is can be very predictive, yes, but it is also a tool for guidance. It's most, it's most useful and effective as a tool for guidance, insight, and clarity, confirming things that you already know. Um, and that leads you to inspiration, motivation, and help you to make decisions. It is not a dictator. Tarot is not dictatorship. Neither is a twin flame journey. You have the option to choose. You have the option to choose who you want to be with, what you want to deal with. Des divine guides are not here to dictate you. It is to guide you along the way. And you are in charge of your life and you make decisions. So it's tarot. Tarot is spiritual guidance to help you make the best decisions for you. And it should confirm what you already know in your heart to be true. Today's reading is brought to you by AshleyDealer.com. You guys can probably hear my dryer in the background. I apologize. But I provide tarot. I provide um, guide apparel. It's so many th uh, things on my website. I probably should put more on there as well. Courses that I also provide as well. And um, resume writing. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm going to put that on there. Only because I'm very good at what I do. Which is why I charge like $200, $250 for resumes. I've gotten like over 40 people jobs or promoted just from my writing alone. So I, I'm good at it, but I don't like doing it because it takes like five, six, seven hours for me. I'm very detailed and to get that focus and hone in on a resume, it would take a couple of days and I just don't like putting that energy into it, but I'm good at it. So if you need a resume, email me. I'll, you know, if it's on my heart, I'll do it for you. Ooh, six of one just came out randomly. So yeah, anyway. So we're just going to read some cards, read some energy, see what we get for the Swim Flame journey. Again, Libra season is here. We should be excited. Saturn is direct. We should expect for a movement. And I'm going to hold Spirit accountable. This is my readings. I've been reading breakthroughs, miracles, God, Horus. Like so many things, Jesus, so many things coming up in my readings, like miraculous time. This is a, a time for miracles. And, you know, I've been on this spiritual journey for a while now. I know some of you are also on spiritual journeys. That's another thing. This twin flame journey is it's not about, it's not relationship based. So if you're watching twin flame readings simply because you're obsessed about a person or you want to be with someone that, you know, is giving you a hard time, that's not what twin flame is about. It's about light work. It's about you becoming one with yourself and God. It's about becoming going through hell to get to heaven because it certainly isn't easy but it's about taking that journey and seeking you know god you know when they say the lane less traveled it's taking the lane less traveled seeking god and finding yourself seeking god and finding god within yourself your divine feminine you know all in one creator son holy spirit all in one um, but I was just on, I did not mean to go off in a tangent like that. Oh yes, opportunities are coming our way. Um, we should expect miracles. We should expect abundance. We should expect things to start manifesting. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. So we have Six of Wands so far and a Knight of Pentacles. Um, bringing in abundance. You know, sometimes I feel like we put in the work. So this came, we take it. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings. So far we have success. So far we have a following, recognition. Finally, things coming together for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have um, Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles working towards new beginnings. Focusing on career, focusing on um, building yourself up and ready, preparing for these new beginnings. Like I was just saying, like we put the work in, but you know, it may require a little work, but we should still be expecting the unexpected. Like we should expect miracles. We should expect breakthroughs. We should expect things to start falling in together for us. Yes, death, which is transformation. Again, endings and new beginnings and the star, taking you to the next level of life, the next level of light. Um, 
yeah manifesting the real you i was just saying to myself i really want to be in alignment with who i am and what i was created for and during this journey sometimes that's not so clear you know i suck my spanish i started on a spiritual journey focused on entrepreneurship but when i started it, well, even before I started, when I was in the agency, federal agency, I was working for fighting discrimination and fighting and standing up and being the voice of other people who were oppressed. It was God, it was spirit in my ear telling me this. And at this moment, I wasn't so clear about spirit, but I knew that it was God. So I'm like, okay, I need to do this. And um, then finally, when I got the courage and I quit my job and I just sought this journey full head force, put eating to the side, put money to the side, you know, I even let my son stay with my sister for six months. But even with doing all of that, it's like, I mean, it's like you seek one, it's like seeking God and seeking your true self. And then along the way, it's been about three years now. Um, along the way, it's been about three or four years now, if I don't count, if I count the time I was in the agency and I was fighting for others as well. Sometimes it's like, what did I do this for? You know, things haven't manifested. But you do it to become an alignment with the real you. And the real you is waiting. The real you is here. But it's time for new beginnings and it's time to manifest in the physical realm as it is manifested in the 5D. Yeah, so uh, this is all new beginnings and, and great cards. It's great. Libra season is bringing such positive energy and vibes. It's just crazy. It's amazing. Um... Yeah, my hair, I took my braids down, so I'm kind of looking a hot mess. So I'm trying to not to look too bad on this camera. But you scared the living shit out of me. I felt something flashing me. I turned, and it was you. What do you want? I was thinking. Oh, you was watching me? You scared me. <laughs> Mar scared the crap out of me. I don't even want to pick those cards. What's up? You just thinking? Okay. What do we have? Yes, didn't I just say it? Being in alignment with who you are as a person. Being in the mirror, looking in the mirror and noticing who you are and what you are and, you know, where you are. Being in tune with your intuition. Being in tune with your higher self. It's coming. It's That's what this... This twin flame journey is all about. It's your bedtime, Lamar. You got it right. Lamar, you up. And you had crumbs on your bed. And you had a noodle packet on your bed, too. The sauce. Child. These kids. Go to sleep. Good night. Love you. Yeah, so it's time for new beginnings. Libra season is going to be so good to us. Um, I didn't specify the energy that I was reading for, but yes, this is masculine or feminine energy. You should be resonating with both anyway. You know, I have this theory that, again, it's not so much about the external partnership, but the internal partnership you have with yourself. Always going to be big. Big things pop and little things stop it. Don't judge my finger. I had some Takis. My son loves Takis, and I ate some, so that's why it's red on my finger. <laughs> but the tower is big things popping, little, little sh stop it. So once, like, it starts with Six of Wands, success. Then it's Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So continue working towards your goals. Success is here. We, should, we are going to hold the energies, these readings, spirit accountable. It is time for transformation and new beginnings in our life. It is time to be in... One with our mirrored self. These movies, they teach us a lot. These movies, Bird Box. Um, these movies, what is this? Ooh, child, and I'm going to take both of them. All right. And don't, uh, this is losing something. Someone taking something. Let's read more. Well, after this, I'm going to take this other deck and start reading on it because... Actually, let me get this clarifying deck because this is my clarifying deck. We have to be very careful because I keep getting this deception. I keep getting, I just dropped my cards, deception and 
some someone taking from us. I'm getting that energy in my readings, and I have been, and I want to be specific on to who's taking what. What are we losing here? Because this is a tower where maybe it's saying goodbye to the old life, but I want to make sure this is something that we need to prepare for. I need to make sure what it is. Because we have success, and when you have success, here come the snakes come out to play. And it says it pertains to your work and career and transformation in your life, period. Taking you to a new level, being one with your higher self and one with your mirror self. And it's going to cause a tower moment. And this tower moment may have something to do with loss or someone taking something from you. So let me look this up. You know what? Let me show y'all the cards that fail. And this is, I'm going to take the bottom of the clarifying deck. Seven of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. So clarifying this, we have the Lovers. The Seven of Cups. Um, the Devil. The Three of Cups. And um, Ace of Cups and a Page of Pentacles. Alright, I know exactly what this is. Oh yes, and then now the new energy for the clarifying deck is the Eight of Swords. Let me tell you what the devil about to try to do to us, what the opposition is about. To try us with the opposition about to try to take away from us. So we're going to be one with our higher self. The enemy don't like that. So what the enemy is going to try to do is take something valuable from us. Take something that we love from us. You know what we love? We love our twin flame. We love our divine partner. We love our counterparts. So how is spirit, how is this opposite, the spirit of the opposition going to take this new opportunity from us? Um, it's going to give us, you know what? Let me tell you something. I'll put the lovers here. They're going to take this partnership away. And um, blessings. God is in the God is in the business of blessing. But you know who send blessings your way to? To keep you from better blessings? Or to keep the... This isn't just about you. If the opposition can take you out by giving something you individually like, but that's not so in alignment with what's best for you know, your purpose and your world and to lead the world to more light and more life. The opposition will bless you to get you out the way. And it's going to be in a, through influx of opportunity of emotional fulfillment. People are going to be coming out of the woodworks, three of cups and the devil, coming out of the woodworks trying to get with you, trying to be with you, offering you things. And it's not all from it's not all from your allies, not all from divine guides and ancestors and, and, and good good energies. Some of that energy is gonna be from blessings coming from or quote unquote blessings again. Remember it's also seven of cups energy as well. Yeah, here it goes. Quote unquote blessings to keep you from the ultimate blessing, to keep you from being one with your divine partner. You have a choice, yes? Um, but make sure that choice is in alignment with your higher self. Make sure that choice is in alignment with what you know to be true already. And be careful for these opportunities coming your way. Because some of these opportunities are stemming from the opposition taking what's already ours. This is crazy. This is insane. Look at this. Bottom of the deck. Two of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Making a choice. You have, you can make the choice. You have to trust yourself to make the right choice. And I'm going to start pulling from the other deck. But no. The opposition, the opposition, the opposition will give us good to keep us from great. Don't let the opposition give you good to keep you from great. And we're going to have to pray and meditate on that. We're going to have to pray and meditate on protection. Pray and meditate on spiritual alignment and that we're aligned with the people that are from our divine guides and ancestors and not from the opposition. Um, we're going to pray the enemy out of our lives and stay in tune with our intuition. When, when our intuition tells us to do something, don't do it. I just did a reading for someone and it was just impromptu reading for this um, for folks socialites. It's a group that I created. I'm trying to build community here with the military spouses and the local community and, and active duty soldiers, uh, females in particular. But anyway, 
she knew her intuition told her not to deal with this lady. Her mom, very intuitive woman, psychic abilities and everything, told her not to deal with this woman. And she was still going to go. It's like, no. And then I did a reading and the reading said, no. You know, the reading advised her not to do it. So it's like, listen to your intuition. Listen to, be, you're one with your highest self. Stay that way. And listen to that energy. Let me save this. I can't get if this were over my out of my head I, that video of that lady and that man singing in walmart i give you the power <laughs> the birds and the bees i cannot okay so we're gonna pull from this deck and um see what else we get see what other energies see what else, okay other energies come the will of fortune but Oh, how perfect. Haven't I been talking about this in this reading? The mirror. It's about being one with your mirror itself. That is fortunate. That brings in the will of fortune. It's like looking in the mirror and, you know, like me looking like this. Knowing that I'm in alignment with my higher self. Um, why is my... Yes, so... Fortune is coming. Alignment is coming. And it feels so good. Look at her. She loves what she sees in the mirror. You will love what you see in the mirror. As being one with your higher self. Why not? You should. You should love it. It's beautiful. It's purpose. It's a purpose-filled life. We want purpose-filled lives. I want a purpose-filled life. Um, bye. Being one with my hair self means a lot to me. Ooh, child, there was something in here. Here it goes. Ooh, child, ate the water. What are we going to have to walk away from? Listen, 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 Linda. Listen, Linda, listen. Six of cups, eight of cups, eight of water first. And then it was the six of cups. So... You don't have to walk away from some love situations. I know we've been, I've been pulling this energy. When is this energy going to manifest? And they've been saying Libra season, so it's here. So I expect it to come any day now. You're going to have to make some tough decisions. So walk away from some people that you love. Why? Because it's not, it's just a tool of the enemy to keep you from what you're supposed to be doing or who you're supposed to be with. But when I say supposed to be, when you choose someone, and I'm very big on this, you don't have to choose somebody that you don't want to be with for the sake of you feel like this is divine and you have to do it. No, you should want to be with the person. You should want to, you should have a connection with that person spiritually, mentally, physically. You should like what you see in that person. You should feel an attachment to you know, in love for that person. What this is, is an influx of opportunities coming your way. You can't choose them all. It's a burden. You have to walk away from some. And it may hurt you to walk away from some. But again, what's better than you have being one with the person in your mirror? And, you know, it, it's you have a choice. But you want to make sure that your choice is led by God. The God in you. Not the enemy trying to influence you into something that... It's not necessarily your best interest. Four of Pentacles, what, what to walk away from and what to hold on to. Yep. It's conflicting. It's, it's going to be conflicting. Look at all them fighting over this man. It's, it's only one man. Not Okay, it looked like more than... Um, I You know, when I was looking at it first, it looked like a whole bunch of people. But this is two women fighting over a man. Um... This is not for the ego, though. This is not to for your ego or to feed your ego. Again, if your ego is being fed, it's the opposition. It's not God. God is not in the ego feeding business. Self-esteem, yes. Self-love, yes. Self-care, yes. Ego is the opposition. That's not God. So, yeah. So, it's like, who do I hold on to? Who do I um, release and... Who makes me feel like this? Yep, determining who to have passion and new beginnings with. Just new beginnings in love. Yep. Nine of fire. Interesting. This is 39 too. 
this movie or I um I what is that island that I was watching on Netflix they kept talking about the number 39 but 39 to me 93 is the number of blessings and 39 is a number of impeding blessings with you know negative negative thoughts or negative actions so it could be like the enemy trying to get away get getting away of your blessings but don't let the enemy impede upon your blessings be one um 39 could also have positive attributes of it as well like you know got influence of god but also it's enemy influence it's the enemy trying to get in the way of your blessings but yeah, it could be a burden, but you if you are on the end of this twin flame journey and if you have been in the spiritual journey like me, we have to trust ourselves and trust that we have the ability to make decisions. And also, if you make mistakes, you can also correct it as well. Six of Pentacles. Oh my, okay. I think this is it for this deck. I think we're going to leave this bottom of the deck, deck energy like this because Three of Air wants to come again. Who is equal give and take? Who brings um, balance into your life? And I think this is also balance internally as well. Um, and this three of swords, I'm still not getting this appointment. I'm still getting the time period, which is Libra season. I'm still getting, um, where's my tree of life? The threes on the tree of life. I have to write it on here. I'm still getting um, blessings during Libra season, but we just got to make sure that we're making decisions based on not only the mind, not only the heart, but also the spirit, my body and spirit. What I was to finish that statement, I was saying it was my body and spirit, you know, but anyway, I have been talking, thinking this has been recording me, and it has not. I really need to get this situation with iMovie and the situation with my computer handled because this is unacceptable. I've been pulling cards, as you can see. More cards are down there, and it just really was not recording me, and I just cannot believe that was happening. All because I opened a website. Anyway, what I discovered was on the tree of life, the threes correlate with being a, um, which is understanding. Yeah, which is understanding. The left side is right by the lovers. So it's like, and, and it's right by the magnets, the emperor, and the lovers. It's understanding as who you are as a person, understanding of what you want in a partner. I'm not even going to sing. I was singing the last time I started singing. What I need from you is understanding. But yeah, what I need from you is understanding. So simple as one, two, three. Where do we stop at? Sheesh. I think we stopped at the nine of fire. This burden of choosing one. Um, then it was the one of air. Yeah, this burden of choosing one. And then I saw the four of fire. This is what came out. And I saw six nines when I was pulling the four of fire. Divine partnership. It's Aries energy here too. <laughs> Interesting. It's um, your divine partner. is the one that you were supposed to be with. It's, again, you have a choice. But, you know, it's your spiritual match. Um, coming together with your spiritual match. Six of earth clarifies that as well. The energy of equality of equal give and take, of being your mirror and being in balance with the person that um, matches you, matches your vibe, matches your wavelength, matches your energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, doing so, someone feels left out in the cold. Somebody is in, inevitably going to have to feel left out in the cold because you're not for everybody. You have to choose one. And I really resonate with that. And I really understand... Um, this being not an easy decision. And I really understand why Spirit is warning us continuously of these opportunities coming towards our way because choose what's in, as if it's career related, choose what's in alignment with your purpose. Purpose over profit, but you must profit. Don't, don't take that part out. We need to profit. We need to be abundant. People won't even listen to us. Spirit told me people don't, don't want to listen to somebody who don't feel like they're not abundant. Abundance bring in the following. And when you follow, when people follow you, you can lead them to more life and light. Um, but yeah, choose purpose though. 
Choose purpose. Choose you. When you choose your purpose, you choose you. When you choose a vibrational match, you choose you. When you choose someone who's not a vibrational match for you or a thing that's not a vibrational match for you, it's only a lesson in the making. That's definitely going to be something that you have to overcome, a challenge self-inflicted that you have to overcome because you knew this person, place, or thing wasn't a vibrational match for you, but you still went for it. So, you know, but we're not there anymore. We're at the place where we're spiritually uh, whole. So we know to choose people, places, and things that are vibrational matches for us. You know, I'm really, I'm honestly, I'm sick of waiting for a miracle. Even though it's Libra season and we know that things are going to manifest for us now, I'm kind of fucking sick and tired of waiting on a miracle. And I'm, you know, I'm, I've been to the point where I'm like, okay, I've been on this journey almost four years. I'm ready for more. And, you know, so I'm going to choose things that is a vibrational match for me. Even if I have to put in the work somewhere where I don't want to, it's like, this is a means to an end. I know that this is a, a, a solution to a problem. But, you know, spirit might beat me to it, and maybe that miracle manifests, but I have to put myself first. And your decisions and the people, places, and things you do should align with putting yourself first. Anyway, then the judgment card just came out. Receiving. This is freedom. This is abundance. This is liberation, redemption, more life. Oh my gosh, I love. I was reading one of the Rumi tarot decks, and I guess I can pull an oracle before this is over. But um, I was reading a Rumi tarot deck, oracle deck, and the first thing that I read on it: "You have been given the gift of more life." Felt so fucking good. Like, this is what I've been waiting on. I knew this wanted to come. Oh, no, this is the sun. They say the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Look at that. Look at her. She's so freaking beautiful. Oh, my God. My tacky fingers are annoying me. I'm going to have to soak my hand. But the sun. Happiness. Abundance. Freedom. Vitality. Energy. Creation. Manifesting. The sun is that as well manifesting look at people at her toes <sighs> enemies at your footstool that's what i'm getting from that same people who doubted you at your footstool then we have three of earth at the bottom of the deck a synergetic result spirit working on behalf in your life look at these enemies that's about to be at your footstool kissing your feet maybe literally i don't know for some people. But expect blessings. Expect um, new beginnings and love. New beginnings and life. Um, but also expect that to bring forth a period where you have to make a decision. But trust yourself to make the right decision. Trust your mind. Trust your body. Trust your spirit. Then you'll make the right decision. I did a reading for myself. And... It was like I was doing October, September, October, November, December. And it looked like between I was like, I make a decision. And I'm happy with that decision. October, then November comes. And it wasn't the <laughs> right decision. I don't know, but I walk away from something in November. And then December, is it comes back together again. It's like... What is about to happen? Again, tarot can be predictive and then energy changes. So if I, I decided to make another decision, that whole energy could change. But it's like, wow, what is about to happen to us? So let's see, what do we want to pull? I'll pull one out of my witch. Pull out the witch's wisdom oracle deck to end this reading. I have some personal readings that it's 11 11. I might go ahead and should I just go to bed? Um, I just do hygiene, go to sleep, and um, I just dropped a car, so I'll take that. Ooh, I love it. Bottom of the deck, moon cycles. Oh, we're closing cycles. We are closing and finally closing a cycle. I have been, you guys, I have been waiting for this for four years been waiting for this my whole life when I was in college when I was in the middle I just knew I was like oh, I'm gonna be rich but it's not about being rich it's more than that but I have written down spiritual solutions to success in the Bible it's like I have been 
on the spiritual pathway to success my whole life not knowing it it's like pre preparation for it but i have been waiting for this my whole life so let's see what happens familiar guardian hmm call upon you know when we come forth with the decision that we have to make well first of all we have our ancestors working on behalf of us already so we can call upon God and so I can go to I can call upon God and send my ancestors and go to sleep, have a dream, and, and get the answer. You know, in a metaphorical sense, but I understand the language. So it's like when we get to this place where we have to make a decision, don't forget your ancestors. Don't forget the ancestors that helped you along the way. Call upon the help of the ancestors, the help of God, in whatever form that they communicate with you. You know, I dream. So if I need help, I can ask for help and get the answer in a metaphorical um, dream. If, you know, in a spiritual dream, a spiritual message in a dream that I decode. Or you could get signs and synchronicities. You can get a person come to you and, and prophesy into your life. But if whenever you need help, don't forget about your ancestors. Don't forget, you know, pray to God. But also know that you have divine guides, ancestors, ascended masters here to help you. Guys, I need to get out of here looking a high mess anyway. Don't, this reading has lasted long enough. But I wish you all love. I wish you all a light and more life. Let me know about these cycles and when it manifests for you. Because I'm ready. I told Spirit, I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP. And I mean that. Alright guys, have a great day. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life.